Here's a quick example of what June bugging looks like because I am June bugging for Burning Man. <laughs> June bugging is a way of getting stuff done that I lifted from the ADHD community here on TikTok. So thank you all, I really appreciate you. So I just went into this drawer to get this lighter because I needed the lighter because I was about to burn the ends of this little piece of rope, which is on all my guide wires. So I've got my rain fly outside because I'm about to fold it up. But the reason I have my rain fly outside is because my whole living room is full of Burning Man equipment because I thought, well, you know what? If I just bring it in from the garage and put it into the living room, I could sit on this couch, walk through all the bins, make sure I have what I have, and make sure I write down what I don't have. I can also label all my stuff, so moving all my stuff into the living room was the best way to get all that done. Oh, and I guess I should acknowledge that as part of the June bugging, here I am making a video for TikTok. And the thing that kicked all this off is that I put my boots on. So real quick, what is June bugging? June bugging is a way of getting stuff done that doesn't involve having a giant checkoff list. You put things out that you can't ignore, and then you just keep walking past these things while in the middle of doing other things, and you're constantly being interrupted by whatever has to get done, but because the things are all out in the open, you continue to come back to the main project. So in this case, the main project is I put all the bins for Burning Man in the living room, which means I'm going to go through them all. So one of the dangers of June bugging is having half done projects lying around. And uh, I know that's something that my ADHD friends struggle with. There's just piles of things. And the, the answer there for me, uh, hopefully for you, but for me is going back to, I put my shoes on. And that, that's a huge thing that I've learned is that if I put my sneakers on and just leave them on, I will keep doing things. There's something about having my shoes on that makes it so easy to go in, outside, run out to the car real quick and just do things that I get more things done with my boots on. So if I do work on this project for like an hour today and decide to take a break, I leave my boots on so that I'll come back to it later in the day. And if I leave, if the project's not done by the end of the day, then tomorrow my only goal is going to be to put my boots on and I'll find myself June bugging again. Mentally and emotionally, we don't focus on this giant task we need to do. We focus on the fact that we're just doing, we're, we're doing, we're getting stuff done. And after we work for an hour, we'll have an hour's worth of stuff done, regardless of what it is. We didn't finish the giant task, so what? We finished an hour's worth of tasks, and that's a lot of stuff, and we should celebrate.